be giving Famous Logos papyrus font redesigns. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, aka Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, do all kinds of fun stuff with logos, so if you're into design, I would definitely recommend subscribing. So on this channel, I do have a series where I turn Famous Logos into Comic Sans logos, so I like replace their font with Comic Sans. But I thought it'd be fun to do Papyrus because I feel like that's another one of those meme fonts um, similar to Comic Sans where... Can you, can you not? I feel like Comic Sans was the original kind of meme font, but then a couple of years back, SNL did this skit where they talked about how the avatar, like James Cameron's avatar used Papyrus as the main font for the avatar logo. And it was kind of, I think it was Ryan Gosling and he was like haunted by the idea that this major movie and brand would use Papyrus as the font. I forgot about it for years, but then I remembered that Avatar, the giant international blockbuster, used the Papyrus font as its logo. And ever since then, I've been seeing it pop up more and more as kind of like a meme font too. So I thought it'd be fun to do some logos in that font as well. So the type of logos that work best for this are ones that basically the main logo itself is a word. So like if it's Nike, the actual logo is the swoosh. So we wouldn't really necessarily do Nike in a papyrus font because it doesn't have a font to begin with. So we're definitely looking for logos that have kind of like an iconic part to them, but also the main logo is the original font from the logo. Normally, if you were to be making a new logo, you would make it in Illustrator so that it could be a vector. But for this, since it's really just for fun, I made about half of them in Illustrator and about half of them in Photoshop, just depending on what kinds of things I had to do to get rid of the original font before adding papyrus on it. I also, when I was doing this, realized that a lot of the letters like lowercase L's, B's, D's, and I's are like really tall and exaggerated on papyrus. So some of them I had to either cut off or incorporate it so it doesn't look exactly like the original one to begin with. And now without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So the first one I did is Pizza Hut. And for this one, I really just had to type out the word pizza and hut and I thought that was it. But then I realized that the Z's kind of do the squiggly thing below each other. And then on the H and hut, the line across the H kind of goes all the way out word from the H. So I had to kind of finagle this a little bit. Um, so I started by mimicking the roof shape by just making the first actual logo into a vector. And then I typed out Pizza Hut, arranged it so that it was right. I did create outlines around this so that we could manipulate each letter on its own and use the different points from it. So I brought the I, the top of the I down and for the Z's, I really just had to grab some of those pixels and like move it downward. And because of the way that the font looks already kind of like jagged around it, it ended up looking fine just by moving those down. Um, and then for the H, I ended up just actually taking another part of another letter and putting it on the left side of it. And it actually worked perfectly. I really like how this one came out. Okay, up next we did Gatorade. And this one I was really concerned about because not only does it have its own font, it's also italicized, it goes upwards in the logo, and also the white part around it is kind of tailored to what that original font looked like. Also, this is the old logo. The new Gatorade logo is just a really big G, so I didn't think that would do as well in Papyrus. So we did the old one on this one. But I typed it out in Photoshop, made it that green, and really all I had to do was erase the background of the original one so that it was just solid white. And when I got it in here, it all fit pretty perfectly into what the original white part looked like. The only thing is the D went really far up. So I just kind of used the eraser tool to make it look like it ended where it should. And I think this one turned out really cool too. I think this font kind of gives something like jungle about it. So this looks like kind of like if Gatorade were in like a movie with The Rock or something. Up next, I did Among Us, which I thought their logo was basically just the word Among Us, which it is, but the A is actually one of the little dudes. I don't know what they're called, but 
Again, how weird this font is where it has so many like jaggedy edges. I thought it'd be really difficult to recreate that to make this little guy. So what I actually ended up doing was just finding a bunch of different letters that kind of together I thought could make the shape. So for like his body, I used two different G's. For the little circle part in him, I used a lowercase o. And then I used a combination of L's and a C to make his little legs. And then I think I used a C to make his backpack as well. So this one was a lot of finagling already existing letters to make that guy. But I think it actually turned out looking really good in the end and I'm happy. You can actually tell it's like a little Among Us dude, which I did not necessarily know if that was gonna turn out when I was making it. Another one I made is Nutella, which actually is just a typeface and it's the word Nutella and the N is in red. But I thought that it'd be fun to kind of get a jar of Nutella um, and make it look like it was actually on the jar to see what that would look like. So what I did was type it all out. I used a combination of just like a white paintbrush and this spot healing brush to get rid of the logo on the original jar. And then I just put it in here, kind of used the warp tool a little bit in Photoshop to make it look like it was rounded on the edges. And this is the final result of that one. I don't necessarily think if I saw this in the store, I would pick it up <laughs> in terms of like the design elements, but I don't think it looks bad with this font, especially I kind of like that the L's go up a lot higher on this one. Next I had WB and I was actually really surprised by how much this one was manipulated. I didn't even like realize it on the original logo. The W has like one solid line on the right side and then it kind of like trails off to kind of match the solid line of the B. So I had to really manipulate this one a lot. I probably could have done this in Illustrator using the pen tool, but I thought I might be able to get around it using the warp tool in Photoshop and I was right. That's what I ended up doing for the W and the B. And it did take a lot of finagling, but I'm actually really surprised at how good it looked after I got that. Then I just typed out Warner Brothers in the bottom. Something about this logo that I didn't really realize when I was doing it is that they use a different blue for the shield and the font below it, which I feel like is an interesting choice because they're so close to each other that I didn't even notice that they were different. So I don't know why they decided to do that. And I don't necessarily think it's a good design choice, um, but I did actually like how it looked in Papyrus once it was made. Okay, up next we did Nickelodeon and I was kind of thinking that I might do the new Nickelodeon logo, but then I realized that that whole thing is really just lowercase font and there's literally nothing else to it. So I decided to do the old splash logo that they had. And the only thing that was really different about this is the N is a little bit bigger than the rest of the word, even though it's all in uppercase and it's all kind of at a little angle. So I basically used the skew tool in Photoshop to do that. And here's that one all complete. Now I did do a couple just kind of for fun to see what they would look like that were really easy. So I did end up doing Ikea and all I really had to do was paint on the yellow part of that and then add the word Ikea to it in papyrus in blue. And this one does look pretty funky. They, again, it just has a jungle vibe. Like I feel like if I saw this in like the kids section where they always have those like tree houses and stuffed animals that I could see them actually using something like this in that area. And the last one was ABC News. And I actually thought that ABC used to have a like 3D logo and I looked it up and they did, but now it's just a flat circle with ABC in lowercase and news in all caps next to it. So this one was pretty easy to do. Again, all I had to do was just paint over the original circle and then erase where it said news and just add it in in papyrus. Those are all the ones I did today. And I really do think that I have a newer appreciation for this font. I mean, honestly, it definitely has a setting that I think it works best in. And that is kind of like this jungle cruise vibe. Like it definitely, I could see a lot of zoos using this font. It's just something about the texture of the outside edges of the letters definitely just gives me that kind of a vibe. I don't know what it is about it, but it looks like it was made for the jungle. And I think that honestly is probably why Avatar ended up using it to begin with, because it is kind of like this wild font with these jagged edges. And I think that's kind of what they were going for. It was like, 
a wilderness setting obviously is a lot of the movie. And so, yeah, I can see why they would do it. I think people were just kind of weirded out that they would use this font that's basically a stock font that came on Microsoft Word. <laughs> like it, it's on all of our computers, like in the stock. So it's just funny that this giant brand didn't even make their own font for it. Some of my favorite ones from today, I think definitely Pizza Hut was a standout, even though I didn't know that it would be at the beginning. I really think this looks like it could be uh, like a restaurant in like a video game, like Zelda or something like that, um, that just kind of has that old timey feel to it. I also was surprised at how much I liked the Warner Brothers one and the Gatorade one and how they didn't really look all that different from the original ones. I'm also kind of proud of myself for how I made the little Among Us dude out of different letters because it just, it does look like the little Among Us dude, even though I made it out of a bunch of different letters combined. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know down in the comments which of these papyrus logos is your favorite. And if you have ideas for more, you can also drop them there. I'll see you in the next one.